when I was stockbroking, and there was an occasion where I had the one of the dealers had listed a new company, and we had we'd sold some of this stock, and at the end of the day when it actually listed, it came on and it was a dollar stock. So we were still stuck with a couple of hundred thousand shares that we needed to sell. So the price listed at a dollar. At the end of that first day, they were trading down at 95 cents. The guy that had actually done the work and listed it had gone up to the operator at the end of the day, who's the person in a stockbroking place that puts the trades on and off, came in and said, what are these shares selling at? She said, 95 cents. What's the bid and ask? In other words, who, what are people prepared to pay? What are people prepared to sell? And they said, well, there's sellers in there at a dollar and there's buyers at 95 cents. And they said, who's the seller? And they said, we are. Okay. So he waited. He watched because the market closes at four o'clock. He's watching his watch. And at about a half a minute, 15 seconds before four o'clock, just as the bell's about to go to close the day's trade, says the operator, buy me 500 shares at a dollar. All right, so there was a, the last trade of the day was one dollar. Only bought 500 shares, that's it. Now, anybody that bought these prior to them listing was saying, okay, that's still fine. They closed at a dollar. Everything's good. The next day, the same thing again. Next day, same thing again. It took three weeks. Finally, the last of these was sold. We'd got rid of them. We weren't stuck with the stock anymore. On that day when he didn't go to the desk, 95 cents is where it closed because we'd been selling at 95 cents during the day every day because we couldn't sell them at a dollar, but people who didn't get them beforehand thought they were getting a bargain at 95 cents. Once we'd sold all of ours, it no longer closed at a dollar. It closed at 95. The next day, 90 cents, 80, and it just continued to go down because there was nobody in there supporting the price. And the real thing comes about. Because most stocks, when they list, are overpriced. And it doesn't matter whether it's a small market cap, large market cap, or whatever. The only ones that were a little bit different were the ones the government sold. Because when the government sells, they seem to sell it at ridiculous prices. And the, everybody's got their snout in the trough trying to get some money out of it.